Sipping wine in the cockpit at anchor during a beautiful sunset is one of the simple pleasures of the cruising life. But with storage space in short supply and the motion of the boat, what kind of wine glasses should you have on board? Hi there, I'm Carolyn Sherlock, and on this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast, I'll share several different types of wine glasses to consider for your boat, depending on what's most important to you. First, though, let's talk. Are you struggling with the reality of living on a boat? You've got the dream, but things may not be going as smoothly as you'd like. Take a look at the Boat Galley's online courses, and let's smooth those bumps out. Whether it's making great meals with only a tiny fridge, storing everything you need aboard, heading to the Bahamas, or something else, we can help you because we've done it ourselves. Okay, so what is the best wine glass for use on a boat? It's a hard one. What's perfect for me may be all wrong for you. So let's discuss a few considerations and then the pros and cons of specific wine glasses. Unfortunately, I haven't found the glass yet that meets all the criteria for use on a boat, so you'll have to decide your priorities to pick your perfect wine glass. Let's start with what do you want in a wine glass? The look and the feel of the glass are always important, but being on a boat adds a few other considerations. Are they likely to tip over? If they tip or fall, will they break? Depending on your location, there may be other factors such as the ability to keep bugs out of the wine. Now, one problem with traditionally shaped wine glasses, that is stemmed glasses, is that they don't fit into drink holders. Or maybe I should say that drink holders don't really keep them from tipping. Several years ago, I came across a drink holder insert. It's called a Yobi, Y-O-E-B-I. It fits inside a standard drink holder to hold a stemmed wine glass. You just slide the foot in and out to drink and set the glass down. They work really, really well. I've used them for a number of years. I've got nine different types of wine glasses to talk about today. And you might laugh a little bit about this. The links to all of these are going to be in the show notes. Different ones of these make sense in different circumstances. I've tried to keep affordability in mind in general, but everybody has a different idea of how much they're willing to spend. Some things cost more, some things cost less. If you like a traditionally shaped wine glass and in glass, the Libby Catawba footed goblet is a really nice choice. The tulip shape works for either red or wine, but the glass is fairly heavy, particularly in the stem, which is the most vulnerable spot, that they're less likely to break than most other glass glasses. They're also less top heavy than many other wine glasses, which also makes them less tippy. While they do have a really nice look and feel, the primary disadvantage is the fact that it is a stemmed glass and it just won't be held in most drink holders unless you're using the Yobi. They're also glass. If one breaks and you're barefoot, you have to be very, very careful. The corresponding advantage, though, is that because they are a footed glass, they do hang nicely from overhead glass racks. Those are really best for boats that entertain at the dock or very calm anchorages and who really want a traditional wine glass look and feel. The next thing that I'd like to talk about is stemless wine glasses because there's a lot of good options there. The only thing that you need to be aware of is that many of them won't fit in a standard size drink holder, which has a hole that's three and a half inches in diameter. Also, a number of the stemless wine glasses don't really have a good gripping area, which can be a problem if you're holding the wine glass and the boat suddenly rolls, you can drop it. Again, I like a Libby one. It's a Libby Venus stainless 17 ounce white wine glass. They're a good choice for boats if you want real glass stemless wine glasses, and they will fit in most drink holders. They're thicker than a lot of the other ones that are available. The biggest problem is that 17 ounces, they are really large, and it's easier to fill them fuller than you intend. Another option that many boaters use for wine glasses are actually juice glasses. They don't have the traditional tulip wine glass shape, which bothers some purists, but they overcome a lot of the other problems. Juice glasses will almost always fit into a standard drink holder, 
and they also have heavier bases, so they're less likely to tip even on a table. And most of them have some design features that make them easier to grip. They're usually made of pretty heavy glass, and typically they hold six to seven ounces, so they're, they're good for keeping portion control. Got a couple of links for those, and you may even find some in the grocery store that you like. Then there are plastic stemless wine glasses. There are several really nice ones here. Straw makes one, the Straw Osteria. They make them in a set of four. They've got a two and three quarters inch diameter, so they'll fit in a drink holder. They're made with a polycarbonate with a thick base to reduce the tippiness. And one thing to know about with the polycarbonate is never put polycarbonate into hot water. That's what makes it cloud over. Only wash it in cool water and don't use any scrubby things on it because they will scratch. Another option, and don't laugh at me too hard about this, but it's a kid's sippy cup. I like the Contigo auto seal ones. You push the button to, to drink and when it releases it, it seals. It's totally spillproof, so it makes it great if you're doing, say, like a hike up a hill to watch the sunset or something. And it also does not let bugs in it. It may not be real fancy, but I find it to be a very useful addition to the real wine glasses. It's also good if you're doing like a dinghy drift for happy hour. The other, the final option I want to talk about is stainless wine glasses. Some people like stainless wine glasses, some don't. They're almost impossible to break, but some people just don't like the feel of drinking wine from a metal glass. If you're drinking chilled white wine in a hot locale, they're going to sweat a lot. But as an alternative to glass, they're prettier than a lot of the other options. That's it. Well, there's a lot of options for you, but you really have to think about what factors are the most important to you. I hope you found this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast to be helpful, useful as you're thinking about what you want to have on board. And please be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. Tell your friends about us. And if you feel like it, drop us a note and tell, you, tell us what you'd like to hear about. Thanks. The Boat Galley, making boat life better.